Welcome back to the show, everyone. Great event coming up, uh, and Ms. Forbes and I are proudly part of it. Absolutely, it's for a great cause. It's called The Hopeful Hand, put on by SCOA Spa, and we're gonna tell you how you can get tickets and have a really good time at a Mad Men theme party with Andrea Scott. How are Hi, you? Great, Thanks. We made you dress Mad Men today. <laughs> You're eight months pregnant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aww, tell us about, uh, I mean, Mike and I have been to the party before, yeah. but for those who don't know, uh, this is a great event you put on for The Hopeful Hand. Tell us a little bit about the charity first. Okay, so the charity was created by Chris and I, who own SCOA, and all of the um, fundraising that we do goes to a specific group at the Children's Hospital to support the parents of sick kids. Um, so over the years, we've done lots of different things for parents. We've built a yoga studio in the hospital, in the BC Hospital, um, and then this past year, we funded all the furniture for the new uh, Family Resource Center. Sometimes they use the money to send parents to events out of town or create programs for families. And this is really the focus for, uh, for what you guys are doing because it's so stressful when you have a child that's in hospital and you're going mm -hmm. through that process and you just don't have time uh, you know, to sort of think about yourself, to have a moment just to relax, mm -hmm. period. That's mm -hmm. it. And, and that's really the focus for you guys all the way through, isn't it? Yeah, and when we first started um, sort of walking down the path of what we could do, what we started doing was bringing parents into the different locations and giving them a complimentary treatment. And for a lot of these parents, this was the first time that anyone had actually you know, done something for them. Yeah. You know, they're there day in, day out, and yeah. it's taking care uh, of their kids, and they constant. have no time for themselves. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, what started was parents would come, they'd leave, you know, hugging our people, and our people get to be involved in the process too, which is fan fantastic. Yeah. Um, and once you start doing that, you kind of want to start doing more, and yeah. that's really how it's just kind of snowballed. And mm -hmm. people can buy tickets and have a great time to support mm -hmm. this charity, which is amazing. Tell us about the party and what's happening. Good okay. party. You guys got lots of things going. You guys throw great parties. That's yeah. first so, and foremost. Well, this year it's going to be really fun because the theme is Mad Men, and last year uh, it was Paris in the Fall, so kind of a different um, concept altogether. So we have so, some vodka sponsorship, and we're going to be doing <laughs> nice Mad Men <laughs> themed cocktails. Um, and then this year we're also doing an outdoor oyster bar. We've got all of our treatment rooms will be transformed into sort of representations of some of the different restaurants in the city. So there's tons of food, uh, tons of yeah. Drinks, um, <laughs> which I won't be able to enjoy. You know, I'm, I'm going to start. There's a cotton candy. Did There's you a cotton candy bar and a milkshake bar that Society from the Global Group are going to be. That's great. Um, putting on. Mm -hmm. Nice. You usually bring your milkshake to the yard. No, it brings right? all the boys to the yard. <laughs> okay, I can remember. And we have to talk about this because not only is Hand Love a great product, but uh, it goes to the charity as well. Tell us about this. So this, um, all of the proceeds from our Hand Love go t into the charity fund, and that's twenty. No, 365 days a year. So that's all. Yeah, that's <laughs> always the case. Whenever you purchase this product, it always goes to the charity, um, and it's a product that anyone can use. It's a hand lotion, so yeah. um, we'll certainly be selling lots of those at the event as well. Beautiful. Um, uh, mm -hmm. We would be a little bit remiss if we didn't get some skincare tips while you're yeah, here. Yeah, because we're going into summertime, so we want to talk about um, some tips. We're going to start with exfoliation. Yeah. So that's the the you know when people ask the sort of first thing they should do to get ready for spring. Really, exfoliation is just a fancy word to get the dead skin off your face. And I particularly love the Glow Tonic. I know okay. the AHA mask is really popular. Um, that it's a spray-on exfoliant, so it uses glycolic acid from uh, glycolic acids, just sort of loosen up the dead skin. Yeah. Um, so for me and you know people who don't have a lot of time, you just spray it on a couple times a week, and it does the magic for you. Nice. And that just preps the skin for anything you put on after. You're going to lose, use less product. Because yeah. that's mm -hmm. the key, right? I mean, if you don't prep your skin properly, the product is just going to kind sit of sit top. there. Yeah. And, and what about moisturizing? Nothing. So the Hydrodew Mask is probably our most popular spring mm -hmm. product. And it's a water-based mask, so there's mm -hmm. no oil-based ingredients in it at all. And the trick that we tell our um, customers is to put it on and then just go to sleep in it. And then you don't have to think about how long have I kept it on. Right. And just wake up all dewy. <laughs> Wake up, scare your friends. <laughs> Wake up, Dewey. And That's this one. Whey, look at that. That Good is uh, moisture lotion. So we always get in this sort of repetitive mode of using the same products yeah. right. all year round. You so do the robot mode and exactly. never change things. So we always have to remind people, you know what, what you're using and, well, 
May. In uh, winter <laughs> in, in May. Yeah. Spring. Normally people would have completely switched over by now, which hasn't quite happened yet. No. But you want to just lighten up the product and make sure your moisturizers have SPF of at least 30 in them, yeah. right. um, especially just more because you're spending more time outside. Yeah. In and theory. you can always fake a tan, which you can do with your mm -hmm. cheeky monkey you makeup line. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we've got here. Okay, so I brought a couple, a bronzer, a tinted moisturizer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, great time to stop using the heavy makeup and just go with the yeah. super light um, tint. And then I just brought a, this is an illuminating bronzer, so it just kind of adds a natural glow. Um, and, and then what's then this one? That's a tinted moisturizer. Okay, that's perfect. Tinted moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, thank you. With Andrew. SPF. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, let's do the details of the event again. Uh, so, date. May 26th at the Yale Town location. You can buy tickets at the Yale Town store or at scoa.com. Excellent nice. stuff. Mm -hmm. It is the second annual charity gala to benefit the Hopeful Hand. As we mentioned, it's a great cause. You can come and join us for a Mad Men inspired evening. And as Andrew just said, you can go to the website for tickets. Uh, I am going to uh, make sure that I'm in Mad Men theme. I'm going to start drinking at the office at about 10 a.m. that day, just so that I make <laughs> and sure. And you're going that as Christina Hendricks. I'm right? in the spirit. I am going as Christina awesome. Hendricks, and you're Don Draper. I am. A little gender switch. It'll be fun. A little misogynist. <laughs> 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 we're going to take a break. What are you talking about, <laughs> Cookie?